Camper Toby. <laughs> Hello, my friend. Once again, hey, international you YouTube superstar. Yeah, no, no, no. You are. The no, you are. no, you are. He no, you are. No, you are. Now this is where you lead lovely German neighbours with an off-road vehicle and a generator and an outlet. Thank you again. Thank you. Ta-da! Happy days. This is four. Super. Thank you, Jen. Right. Here we are for another day. Come on, Dougal. Let's see what today brings. Now, one of my lovely subscribers, whose name I'm afraid I can't decipher because it was in acrylic alphabet, asked for a look at the Mercedes Sprinter. Now, this year seems to be all about the 4x4. So let's have a look at the Sprinter 319 CDI Rizomobile Independent, which has a base price of 81,000 euros. This one in particular is 113,000 euros. And it's a beast. Look at that. And let's have a little look inside. Oh, it's very red. You have all your technical bits and bobs there to hand. It's quite interesting, it's got a closed in back. But the roof light does alleviate any uh, claustrophobic feelings. Your head would go that end. And then interesting, is that the fridge is under the bed. Nice sizeable wardrobe there. So I'm in the hall of Hobby Caravans, probably one of the most popular, if not the most popular brand of caravan in Germany. I didn't know where to start. Fortunately, one of my fantastic subscribers, Troy Kirschner, came to the rescue and said, could I please look at this one, the 470 KMF, as he's interested in buying this with his family. So, Troy, it's my pleasure. Let me have a look. We don't have this layout in the UK, which is bunk beds for the kids. That's, I believe, at the back, yeah. In here is your washroom. Just 
so in common with many European vans, no shower. Hello. Central dinette. Kitchen is here. Uh, regular sized domestic fridge. Oh, I see. You only need to raise that one cover if you just want to use that one burner. So if you want to make a cup of tea, you just have to raise the one cover. If you want to use the whole cooker, you raise both sides. I guess that's neat, but you'd need quite a small kettle to fit on that ring, wouldn't you? Or a kettle with a small base. There's your kitchen storage. Great sunroof over the kitchen. As usual, they've stuffed a light in it. Wardrobe. This one has Truma heating. And then at the front, we have a double bed. And there's the light switch with lockers above. Nice, spacious lockers above. And under the bed, water tank. Oh yeah, there's the blown air for the heating. I can see it now. And there's a hatch there to access this area. I would say, if you have a family of four, you are going to need an awning if you're stopping for more than one or two nights because my only reservation is that that is a small area to sit four of you to eat and relax. However, kids generally do love their own bunks. The screen to the bunks is nowhere near soundproof. It's just a... Uh, it's just like a curtain. I've clambered up into the top bunk. I see no sockets or USBs for the kids' phones or tablets. That might be an advantage, it might be a disadvantage. That's your decision. And then finally, this lower bunk comes out of the way. This does this lower section to make a storage area you can get rid of the carpet put your bikes there but just be aware there is no garage door and this ladder is fixed so just be aware of that you could get your bikes in but it might be a wee bit of a struggle with that fixed ladder in the way. We are back at the vintage caravan display and at the request of another lovely subscriber, Sheepdog Catfish, we've come back to look at this beautiful 1961 Ereba Puck export. That is so cute. Just a look at the uh, pop-up there. And then the insulated ceiling. It is the cutest cute thing since cuteness began, really. That little pop-top is so cute. I mean, this really is the, the ultimate European icon, I think. I think the Ariba is to Europe what Airstream is to the United States. 
Okay, everybody, stand by. We have access to the California XXL. Oh my goodness me. Wow. So bright. <clears throat> wow. I mean, just. This is like the um, the A380 of camper vans. Your built-in coffee machine. Sockets integrated to the side of the table. So that'd be your tablet goes. Oh, tablet goes in there. Recess sockets into the wall. It's just amazing. Right, D Daniel's so. going to show us how this works. Right. Wow. And that's Open the uh, fold down basin. Oh my goodness, I've just seen the shower. That's the shower. My goodness. <laughs> Many years. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> that's so simple. Yeah. And there's a little piece over there. We can extend it to up to two meters. Wow. Goodness me. Thank you. There are fridge. That's the fridge. Here and here. That is the fridge. The first one. The second one is down there. Oh. For beverages. Or... Wow. <laughs> Enough. Space. I keep saying wow. I should stop saying wow. <laughs> Goodness. Super. Zupa, <laughs> and these you just touch the wall for the lights, do you? Yeah, that's the light switch. You manage almost everything here on the car, so it's everything's connected by Bluetooth, is it? Or it's here on Wi Fi. On Wi Fi, you can change the lights here. Yeah. So, change the color, the color, yeah. Oh. Everything in down uh, here are the stripes. Yeah. Also in color. You change the color of the stripes. Yeah. And then can you make that dark at night? I can close the, um, the roof. So there's a roof that closes over. Yeah. Wow. And here I can open the. Open this window? Oh, I open see. Open and close the window. And also here, too. And you can control yeah. it there. Yeah. So if you're at the kitchen, you don't yeah. need your iPad. Yeah. That's super. I've just seen your name is Daniel Super. Yeah. It's like <laughs> <laughs> you're the perfect and guy to to demonstrate. Gimmick down there. You can watch movies. Can watch movies. Beam so it's a beam. So the beam is in there. And are the movies on your iPad? Yeah. That is just incredible. So the California XXL is a concept. It is not going on sale. It's here to judge people's reactions to the design and the features, what people like and what people don't like. I'll let you draw your own conclusions about the outside. But on the inside, oh my word, it is amazing. So that concludes another day here at the Caravan Salon in Dusseldorf. 
hope you enjoyed that as ever if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you don't already and it just leaves me to say as ever from me and from Dougal thanks for tuning in Thank you.